Third graders, what's going on? It's Mr. Stanley again, and I am here to introduce to you a new workplace game. So let's put on our math hats on today, and we're going to explore a game called Rabbit Tracks. It's workplace game 1F. So we've had workplace games A, B, C, D, E so far. And um, I'd like you maybe just to pause the video for just a quick moment and kind of look around this um, game board and kind of make some observations on what you notice about this game. Okay, so did you notice that this game is an awful lot like a game that you already know how to play? Yeah, that's right. It was 1E, Carrot Grab. So this one is a little bit different than Carrot Grab because we're still going around to collect carrots. So um, I'm going to use the, um, the yellow one here for my carrots. Um, and it works the same. So we'll start the game with saying we need a uh, two players to play. And I'm going to do a blue player and a red player. And they obviously start at the beginning where the little red dot is. And the goal will still remain the same. We're trying to get to the carrot cake here at the very end. And we still want to try to collect as many carrots as possible. So you can see the carrots here. But the one thing that's different that you might notice is that um, instead of counting by ones and tens, this time we're actually counting by hundreds. So you can see every carrot we collect is counting 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, all the way up through, and oh my goodness, look here, 900, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, and that's when the game ends and you can collect, uh, count up, the sum of all of your carrots. So the game works the same. We're going to do an, a toss and a spin to move our spaces forward. So I'm going to pretend to be the blue chip and um, my first roll is a five plus four. So instead of thinking it as ones or in this case, five plus one is equal to nine ones, this time we're actually going to add five plus four together and those are actually going to become tens. So I have five tens plus four tens, which gives me nine tens or 90. So I'm also going to spin, and you'll notice that my spin here is at a 200. So I could move my, uh, my little marker here, I could move my nine or my 90, but then if I move my hundreds, I can move 100 here, 100 here, and I've collected no carrots. So I want to make sure that I do that. And in order to start my game, I'm going to collect my carrots first. So I'm going to move 100, 200, then my 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Or I could say, okay, 90 is one less than 100. So I know that that is the 90 spot here. So I'm at 390 for my first spin. So let's go as the red marker. I have 40 tens plus six tens, which is going to give me 10 tens. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Oh, that's right, 10 tens is the same as 100. But I can still split my uh, uh, sum up to make it so that I capture a carrot. So I've captured so far two carrots, but I need to capture a third. So I'm going to take a 10 from this total of 10 tens, and I'm going to go back to like nine. Oh yeah, okay. Sorry, I was thinking I was the blue and I'm actually the red. <laughs> so that's 10 tens and I'm gonna spin. <laughs> Sorry about that, I messed up. All right, so we all make mistakes, right? Brain grew. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna hop 100 here and then I have 10 tens. So simply I'm just going to go 10, uh, hop my 100 first and then I'm going to go my 10 tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 280, 290, 300. So um, I, all, I also, in my red space here, collect that. All right, so now let's try to split up this um, blue one so that the blue 
character can go. And the blue marker is going to go, I've spun six tens and I can split up my six tens. So maybe think about how can I split up my six tens to get one? Well, I need to get this carrot. So I'm going to move my blue carrot, my blue marker one guy. So I had six tens. I take away one ten to make five tens. So now that I've hit that 10, I can hop um, my 100 here and I'm going to go 100 and that's going to give me another marker and another one for the 500 and then I'm going to move my what's left over of the six which is five. 510, 520, 530, 540, 550 or I know that the first five are the marked rabbit tracks and the other ones are not. So that's that middle one is my my middle one, which happens to be 550, okay? And the play then continues all the way through, all the way through our rabbit track land until we get to our wonderful, tasty, yummy carrot cake, and that's when we total it up. Um, some students in my class have been playing, and at the end of the game, they both ended up with the same amount of um, carrots. Um, I always like to have my students continue to play. So basically they could play until their teacher tells them they're over. They could set a timer and say, okay, whoever is winning after two minutes, we can um, determine who wins the game that way. Or they can play a whole other round and just continue to go all the way through and then see who has as many there are there. So there are some options for you to play. And just so you know, there are other variations of this game. Um, it says you can go until the time runs out. So that's kind of what I've used um, if you ha happen to end, end up in a tie ever. So that's how to play Rabbit Tracks. And since we have so many other workplace games like Make the Sum, Target 20, Blast Off the Space, Subtraction Bingo, and Carrot Grab, it, this would be a good time to play a, a game of rabbit tracks and then maybe go back and play a game that you have only played once or maybe you even haven't played it yet. So um, get out that choice board of yours and take a look at all the different um, <clears throat> all of the different workplace games to play for today. So um, play some workplace games, uh, do some practice, do some ST math, and we will talk to you again for the next session. So this is Mr. Stanley signing off. Have a wonderful time playing Rabbit Tracks.